Okay, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahavashai, Bashim Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's whole four elect scattered abroad, teaching his word and sincerity and truth. Shalom. Alright, I'm the brother Taza Wolf in the GMS New Jersey camp. And this one here is a quick hit, straight to the point. I'm in the book of Mark, chapter 13, verse 26. It says, And then shall they see the Son of Man coming in the clouds with great power and glory. And then shall he send his angels and shall gather together his elect from the four winds, from the utmost part of the earth to the utmost part of heaven. All right, so in the scripture, it's clear as day that it is written that the Lord is going to make his second return. And he's going to come with what? Coming in the clouds, which are the chariots of Yahweh, which the world today call UFOs. And it says with great power and glory. That great power and glory, you can only imagine. You know how a king comes through, you know, in his majesty, his holy, glorious grace, you know, in his presence. You know, Yahweh Shai is coming in that glorious, holy presence amongst his army. You're going to see thousands on top of a thousands of, of chariots, angels riding in those vehicles with Yahweh Shai. So it says, with clouds, with great power and glory. Now, verse 27, and then shall he send his angels and shall gather together his elect from the four winds. All right. From the utmost part of the earth to the utmost part of heaven. So this also is another scripture that clears day tell you that the Lord is going to come and gather his elect. Now, who is who is the elect? The elect are the Israelites. All right. We're the chosen chosen people of the most high. OK, the 12 tribes. But there's an election within the election, which is the Lord not coming for all of Israel today. He's coming for the chosen of the chosen, the people, the chosen of his chosen. OK. So it says, and then shall he send his angels and shall gather together his elect from the four winds. The four winds represents the four corners, okay? North, south, east, west, all right? Wherever the Lord is, wherever the Lord's elect is, it, that's where Yahweh Shai is sending forth the angels to get them, okay? It says, from the uttermost part of the earth to the uttermost part of heaven, you know? So you can't get around this, man, you know, when you... Uh, into those government churches You know, they don't speak on this scripture And this is written in red So this is Yahweh Shah's word This is actually him speaking Okay And they don't talk about this They don't talk about a second coming Alright They don't talk about Yahweh Shah cracking those clouds Okay So Let's see Now verse 28 Now learn the parable of the fig tree when her branches yet tender and put it forth leaves, ye know that summer is near. So ye, in like mind, like manner, when ye shall see that th these things come to pass, know that it is nigh, even at the doors. All right. So these prophecies, when we see the prophecies in which the Lord speak of, okay, come to pass, then we shall know that Yahweh Shai is at the door. Okay. It says, so ye in like manner, when ye shall see these things come to pass, know that it is nigh even at the doors. Meaning it's, 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 it's coming, it's here, it's near. It says, verily I say unto you that this generation shall not pass till all things be done. So we're not going to get out of Esau's kingdom until he forced that RFID microchip, which is the mark of the beast. This is their new world order plan and they're not going to stop until they do. So all so in order for Yahweh Shah to come, all the prophecies have to be fulfilled, man. So it says that this generation shall not pass till all things be done. All right, and ultimately is that chip, then World War III, and Yahweh Shah is coming. It says, Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away. But of that day and that hour knoweth no man, know not the angels which are in heaven, neither the sun. But the father so we don't know the exact day we can't tell you the exact hour all right we could just uh measure the time diligently in itself all right so verse 33 take ye heed watch and pray for ye know not when the time has come so the importance of, of learning and understanding this these scriptures is that you should watch and pray and take heed 
You know, that's the importance of repentance. All right. It says, for ye know not when the time is near. All right. It says, for the son of man is as a man taking a far journey who left his house and gave authority to his servants and to every man his work and commanded the porter to watch. Watch ye therefore, for ye know not when your master of the house cometh at evening or at midnight or at the cock crowing or in the morning. Least coming suddenly he find you sleeping and what I say unto you, I say unto all, watch. You know, maybe I'll title this lesson, watch, okay? Because, you know, it's important that we give diligence to make our calling and election sure. You know, when you're caught sleep, you're caught off guard. You know, you can get robbed, you know, you get stuff stolen from you. You know, you get taken, uh, uh, you get taken by force. But if you was up to watch, you would at least have the chance to defend yourself. And our defense is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know, so it's important that at least coming suddenly, he find you sleeping. You know, and as it's written in 1 Thessalonians, the fifth chapter, uh, we are not of the dark, we are of the light. You know, so it says, and what I say unto you, and I say unto all, watch. So I hope this lesson was edifying. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the Lord's hopeful elect. Shalom.